It's always interesting when you get to review a product from a brand that you're unfamiliar with. And the Catabatic is the first product I've ever used from the North American brand Oboes. And for a shoe of North American design, they couldn't be better suited to the UK if they tried. They've got a good grippy sole, which is perfect for what we tend to have over here, which is generally wet, rough, muddy, grassy, quite unpleasant terrain. They've got a durable set of uppers, which is designed to last. And finally, they've got an extremely supportive fit. And they're really comfortable, irrespective of whether you're out for a short walk or a long multi-day hike. In terms of usage, they're an all-rounder. They're capable of doing pretty much everything. And as a result of this, during the review process, they've basically been the shoe that I've reached for first, more often than not, simply because I know that they're gonna be fit for purpose, no matter what I'm up to. A lot of my own usage has been in and around the Peak District, where we are today, whether that be over the eastern edges, close to home, or throughout the Kinder and Bleaklow plateaus, where you tend to get that boggy, gruffy terrain, which really benefits from that super grippy sole unit. However, these would be equally well suited to the rockier areas of the UK, such as Ariri, Snowdonia National Park, the Lake District, and Scotland. Now, I've been using the lined version, which features Oboz's proprietary B-Dry membrane. This was great during the cold, damp spring we had, as it helped keep my feet warm and dry. On the flip side, on hot days such as today, it does manage to balance things well in terms of its breathability. If it is the warmer weather you're looking at getting out in, then there is arguably a more suitable unlined version, which also comes in at a cheaper price. And that's £135 for the unlined versus £150 for the lined. As if that weren't enough options, Oboes also offer the Catabatic in a mid with a higher top that's a more supportive and obviously more waterproof model. And those are available in both men's and women's. The Catabatic has a really strong sole unit. It's got a good amount of lugs, but with enough room for clearance in between. They're nice and deep, and there's plenty of them all around. Now this is perfect for those wet, grassy slopes or muddy footpaths. On rock, it does offer good grip, but due to the relatively low surface area, it can be a little slippy on wet rock, particularly if it's lichenous, like every shoe on the planet. <laughs> now the fact that the sole sits underneath a nice supportive midsole further adds to the appeal. They're a really comfortable shoe with soft cushioning and they feel really nice to walk in. Within the uppers, there's a lot of reinforcement which again is great for that rougher and technical use. They've got it around the toe, around the sides, and on the instep as well. And all in all, it feels like an exceptionally well-made, well-constructed shoe that's built to last. In terms of sizing, I felt like the Catabatic came up a little bit small. I tend to be a UK eight and a half, and whilst I have reviewed the eight and a half, it felt a little bit snug. Not so much that presented a problem, but had I have had the chance, a UK 9 would have been really nice to have tried on. When it comes to the fit, Obo suggests that it's around a medium width and an average volume. And again, maybe it's because of the slightly snugger sizing, but I felt that it was maybe a little bit on the narrow side, not significantly narrow, but a little narrow. So given that Obo's were a complete unknown for me before reviewing the Catabatic, I've been really impressed. It's a great all-rounder and one that I've reached for a lot throughout the spring and summer. The fact that there's a variety of different options, be that men's, women's, lined, unlined, low and mid, further adds to the appeal. It's a great, well-constructed shoe, and I look forward to seeing more from Oboes in the future.